Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Make color adjustments to a photo using the tools in the HSL panel, color panel, and B&W panel. To use these tools, display a photo in the develop module and then expand the HSL slash color panel. This panel functions somewhat differently than other Lightroom Classic CC panels. If you click HSL in the panel header, HSL tools are displayed. If you click Color in the panel header, tools are displayed in a different way. However, when you compare the two versions of the panel, you'll see that the same tools appear, just organized in a different fashion. The HSL panel provides categories at the top of the panel for Hue, Saturation, Luminance, and All. You can click any category to see slider bars for each color. For example, if you click the Hue category, you'll see Hue sliders for each color range. If you click All, the panel displays Hue sliders, then Saturation sliders, and then Luminance sliders. If you click Color in the panel header, you'll see that the same sliders are broken down by color. For example, in the red area of the panel, you'll see sliders that control the Hue, Saturation, and Luminance for red tones. There are color chips along the top of the color panel. You can click on any color chip and the controls for just that color will then be displayed. If you click the word All at the right of the color chips, all sliders for all colors are displayed. The sliders in the HSL color panel let you adjust the hue, saturation, and luminance for specific colors rather than making overall tonal adjustments to an entire image. Like other sliders, you can click and drag to make adjustments or click into the value boxes to the right of the sliders and type specific values. The HSL panel also provides a targeted adjustment tool in the upper left corner of the panel. To use the targeted adjustment tool, click to select the tool from the panel and then click and drag up or down in the image display area over a part of the photo you want to adjust. To access the B&W panel, you must first convert the selected photo to gray tones. To do this, expand the basic panel in the Develop module. Then click Black and White in the Treatment area at the top of the panel. The photo is then converted to gray tones. You can then collapse the basic panel. You will now see the B&W panel available in the right panel grouping of the Develop module. When you expand the B&W panel, you'll see eight color sliders, an Auto button at the bottom of the panel, and a targeted adjustment tool in the upper left corner of the panel. You can use the individual sliders to lighten or darken the gray tones that represent colors in the original photo. In other words, if you converted a photo of a vase of red roses to grayscale, you could then use the red slider in the B&W panel to adjust the lightness or darkness of the flowers in the grayscale image. To set a grayscale mix that maximizes the distribution of gray tones in the image, click the Auto button in the B&W panel. The sliders in the panel move to reflect the adjustment. The targeted adjustment tool in the B&W panel works the same as the targeted adjustment tool in the HSL panel. Simply click to select the tool from the panel and then click and drag up or down over an area in the photo you want to adjust. When you're working with a grayscale image, the targeted adjustment tool lightens or darkens all the grays for a similarly colored area of the original photo. For example, if you had used the tool on an area in a grayscale image that had previously been yellow, all of the gray shades in the image that had previously been yellow would be similarly adjusted. In addition to using the B&W panel to adjust specific areas of grayscale images, you can also use features from the Basic panel and the Tone Curve panel to adjust the overall tonal range of black and white photos. The tools and sliders that appear in the Basic and Tone Curve panel function the same way on grayscale images as they do on color images. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.